Hey everyone, it's your girl Belinda back up in my kitchen getting ready to chef it up for you guys today. And if you watched my last video, you would know what I'm cooking today. So, those of you that do know, today I am making my special Spanish rice. And I'm also doing a meatloaf, a Spanish meatloaf. And the reason why I say Spanish is because I add a lot of Spanish ingredients, okay? So, if you look around me here, you will see I have my table here prepped up, ready to chef it up for you guys. I have everything prepped up. I actually did this an hour ago. Last night I had a busy day. Um, if you look in my kitchen over here, I have my olla where I'm putting my meatloaf and I have my favorite pot for my rice. So, um, like I said, yesterday was super busy day for me. Um, my daughter graduated. My son uh, is going to second grade uh, next year. And um, it was really, really, really touching for me to see my daughter. She's getting so big and I'm just so proud of her and I'm thankful to the Lord above that she is super smart. Um, there's so many beautiful things I can go on and on and say about my daughter. I love her so much and I'm so proud. She's my only girl. <laughs> so uh, up to that, she graduated. So it's time for the summer to roll in, right? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We are getting some spectacular hot weather in the Reading area, Pennsylvania area. I mean, I'm just loving it, you know. Um, thank God we have the YMCA going on for us. Membership there, up to that. And we have the Lake Blue Marsh. So, um, just got to make things, you know, try to stay cool as possible, I guess. <laughs> okay, so back to what I'm chefing up today. So therefore, those of you that watch my videos before, you would know what I'm cooking today, as I said. And those of you that are just joining me on this new video, I'm gonna break it down to you as well. So, what I'm cooking today, like I said, is my Spanish rice, and I'm doing a Spanish meatloaf, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started and start chefing it up, and I'm, actually zipping my tea right now <laughs> but I'm kind of uh, a little upset because I forgot my yogi teas yesterday when I was at the market so what I did today I googled something on the internet for a thought for today so I have it on my little pretty card over here with my green tea and this is gonna be the thought for the day that I'm gonna read to you guys later okay so what's up everybody I'm so excited to be back to chef it up for you guys um it's friday like i said um the weekend is gonna be good <laughs> and great for me i get a break my kids are going to their dad so um me and my honey can relax and enjoy the whole weekend so up to that everybody needs a break all us mothers need breaks fathers need, need breaks we all need breaks right right okay so let's just get right to it um i'm gonna be doing the rice first because of course I wanted to sit and cook um, so basically I'm just doing um, the Spanish rice and the ingredients that I have that I'm going to be using okay is bacon okay I have my bacon it's hot field bacon and I have a lot of bacon here y'all and I'm using this for my rice and I'm also using this for my meatloaf very little not a lot but bacon has a lot of flavor and this is why I use that use bacon for these two dishes so I add them in both and I'm about to chop, chop that up with some scissors in front of you in a second okay so the rice I decided to make today is gonna be a crema de coco okay this is the real thick coconut and I only add a real big spoon of this into my rice and then I'm do just doing a small white beans. So that is going to be my rice. No sazon, no goya, um, no, no goya seasoning, anything. Very simple, just bacon, this and this, that's it. So I want my rice to just be, um, I just want it to be very simple, but super flavorful, okay? So that, that's for that. And then 
what I have here for my for my meatloaf, for my special Spanish meatloaf, I got a whole bunch of ingredients here, y'all. <laughs> I do, and um, I do it big when I do this meatloaf because it's one of my favorites and it's one of my favorite dishes. I posted this before on Instagram, Facebook, so now um, I can finally share it here with the YouTube, with my YouTubers. <laughs> Okay, so what I have here on my table, um, I'm gonna try to put it down so you can kind of see. All right, what I have is four slices of bread, right here, just regular, regular white bread, which I'm going to be chopping up. I have two eggs. I have, uh, I have chopped up, well, I'm going to be chopping up some celery and two red to pay, excuse me, two red, potatoes. I'm um, going to be chopping that up as well. And do you re remember those long pieces of the gulantro, which is cilantro, and then it's the Spanish flavor one? We're using three pieces of those that I'm going to be chopping up as well. I also have my mixed chopped up green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and onion. So that's what I have here already prepped up. I also have my beautiful bowl of rice, which I used before. This is my family size. I also have Romando Stella cheese that I'm gonna be grating up on top of the, all the meat after I'm done adding all the ingredients. Um, I have some milk in here. I drizzle that on top when I'm done. I have Sofrito, I have garlic, I have olives, Spanish uh, salad olives, and I have my Caribbean jerk sauce. And this is one of my main ingredients, y'all. I love this so very much. This is so flavorful. This has, actually this has um, pineapple chunks in it, so it's, and it's a little spicy, but I love it. <laughs> Okay, so, and the garlic that, I, that I'm using today is a squeezy garlic. You can actually use this as a dip for chips or, or whatever you prefer. Um, so this is what it is. It's a squeezed garlic. And I have a one-third of that here. Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> so, these are all my ingredients, y'all. Oh, yeah, and let me not forget to show you this. This is the Caribbean sauce that I'm using here it's a Caribbean jerk and like I said it has pineapples in it it's spicy so this is one of my favorite things that I do add on top of my meatloaf and it comes out super yummy okay so I shared these two ingredients with you that's why I kept them out so now I can put them back in the fridge because I already prepped everything up y'all <laughs> yeah we're having some really hot weather I'm so excited for the summer. We have some plans of things that we're going to be doing with the kids, so up to that. Okay, so that's pretty much, that's it. That's what I have here. I do have some butter, but I use only very little slice of this into my meat, meat into my uh, grinded meat. And uh, that's, that's just pretty much it. I just want to make sure I didn't forget anything here. And, you know, I'm going to go over everything with you guys you know, when I do a second video. And I, I realized I need to do like three videos all the time because just because of the breakdown. So, and that's okay because I also like to tell you guys what I'm gonna be cooking next. Okay, so we're gonna get right to it, y'all. I have my ground beef right here. Uh, I think it was like 12 bucks. Yes. 12.60 at Redner's. I did some shopping at Redner's in the Exeter area where I live in Reading, Pennsylvania because their their meat is pretty fresh too and a little cheaper. Um, so, but my favorite place is Wise. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just open this up and I'm gonna do all this in front of you guys. Are you ready for this? Okay, so take notes. <laughs> yeah, my kids are actually in the other room. That's why I kind of have that covered there. They're just relaxing, you know, playing their games. I think my daughter's on her phone. <laughs> and um, they're just doing their thing, so. And once I'm done here, doing all this for you, I will be taking my children up to their father. 
All right, so look how beautiful and fresh that looks. This is the, how you want to look and, and um, make sure your meat is nice and fresh. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and just throw that in there. Nice big chunks. Just throw them in. <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> you guys don't know how much I love you. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, so I have all the ground beef up in there. It's all chopped up, okay? Let me just throw that in the trash. And look how beautiful that looks, some big chunkies. And I, I try to open my windows to get good lighting. I think I have good lighting, hopefully. Um, you know, because sometimes you could play the video and then it does the lighting looks great while you're recording. But then when you actually look at the video, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> so, hopefully we have good lighting try to open everything up today okay I'm gonna just put these paper towels on the side okay so we're just gonna go ahead and add the ingredients in so here goes that Caribbean sauce up in there super yummy mmm so good so good okay let me dip that over there we're gonna go ahead and add our sofrito okay it's a half a cup of so sofrito any one you choose is fine. There's many different flavors out there. And this is our squeezed garlic. We're throwing in there as well. All right. The olives, just Spanish Goya olives for salads. Add that in there. Oh my gosh, all the flavors. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and add all the diced peppers and onions, how beautiful. Throw that in there. Okay. Then we're going to crack two eggs. <laughs> yes. And like I said, depending on your family size, that's how you have to go buy, you know, these ingredients. So, however, like I said, if you have any questions, my email is up and open for you guys, or you can comment below, um, whichever one you prefer works for me <laughs> okay two eggs then we have um, let me get this out the way just a little piece of butter and when I say little I mean like really little you know I just I just put butter in the reason for that is just when I mash everything with the bread and everything it helps it kind of stick together whichever butter you choose doesn't matter this is a cheaper version so just like a nice Place. That's it. A little bit more. That was kind of small. Okay. There we go. So that's done. Put it in here. It is actually, I have my air conditioner on. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Loving the weather, but um, it is hot today. It was super hot yesterday. I have a fan here, so if you can't hear me, I'm trying. That's why I'm kind of speaking up as loud as I can because I have the fan um, here. My oven is on. You see how much I love you guys? <laughs> That's not like I'm talking to my kids right now, my, my man. Um, yeah, because I have the oven on because that's where the meatloaf is going, right? So trust me, I'm chefing it up today. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab those four pieces of beautiful white bread. Okay, uh, I prefer white. You can do wheat, but for this dish, I do white. So we're just gonna go ahead and chop this up in little pieces. Okay, and we're gonna dice them up, very little, very little. I know people when they do meatloaf, they kind of like just tear up the bread and throw it in. I think that's so rude <laughs> to do that to the meat. You gotta cook with love, y'all, okay? Make sure everything loves each other, blends in together. And that's just the way I cook. So these are my last two pieces here of bread. And like very small dices, y'all. So that way you're not beating up the meat with your hands and trying to get all that bread in there. That's why I like to do very little pieces instead of just tearing up the bread. Okay, so that's all in there. Okay, so the beautiful three pieces. Well, I actually have four pieces here, but it's okay. You can add an extra one if you want. I just love this. This brings great flavor, y'all. 
it's the gulantro and it's the Spanish cilantro and it's very leafy and you've got to like put this in your dishes this is super yummy I use this in my beans when I just do white rice and just beans on the side and um, my dad actually put me on to this <laughs> a long time ago all right so we're gonna go ahead and just take those and we're gonna chop them up and throw them in there as well so let's do that now I can just smell the aroma on this so good. Just throw it in there. Okay. Then um, we're going to add a cup of cilantro. So that's what I have here. I have beautiful pieces here that I got at Redner's. And um, I'm just loving them. And these I actually got chopped up like this already, but I still have to dice them for my meatloaf. So, um, like I said, just either, you know, your family size. I do a cup for four. So we're just going to go ahead and chop those up. And I do the sideways and the long ways right in the middle. That's what I do. For these. Again, everything is diced up in this, in this stitch. Let me just quick show you this, y'all. Okay, look how pretty. All the ingredients, look. Cook with love, make everything nice. And you, you got to organize all your pieces so they all can blend in together. I promise you, it does make a difference. <laughs> okay. So that just smells so good right now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just kind of going to relax this weekend and enjoy my time with my man. Because he works hard and I work hard at home and do a whole lot of other things. I'm always in therapy with my kids, um, so I'm definitely busy, 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 busy bee. <laughs> yeah. So, just chop these up. And these salon, uh, I'm sorry, these uh, celery sticks, they're so fresh, and that's how you want to get them, nice and fresh. All right. And we are, we are going to get to the rice. I know I did say in the beginning we were going to do the rice first. But the rice is pretty simple. It just takes a little bit to cook. But this is actually going to take a little longer to cook. So let's just get this ready. Okay. That. Okay. Yeah, so I'm so excited, y'all. I do have something that I'm going to be cooking. Uh... For my next dish, it's actually going to be fish bacalao, bacalao tacos. So that's what I'm doing next. And I'll, you know, I'll put out a third video out <laughs> and uh, so you guys know what I'm chefing up next, okay? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I love it. I think the last time I had it was probably a couple months ago. I haven't cooked that in a while. And um, I definitely want to share that dish with you guys. Okay, I think that's pretty good. This is, it um, says it's a cup, but I think it's a little bit more than a cup. So we're just gonna put that aside. Okay, and this is plenty enough here. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and take these beautiful red little tomatoes. <laughs> And we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna dice these up. However, we're not gonna take the skin off. The skin stays on the potato. I like it because again, it sticks with the ground beef and it looks really pretty. And sometimes when I do like french fries for my kids, I and I do like the rusted potatoes or whatever, I make sure that the skin stays. My daughter loves it. And I season them up really good with salt and they love it. And when I do breakfast, I slice my um, Idaho potatoes, I slice them up sideways like this so that they're pretty much, let me just give you a little example. I slice them up for breakfast, my Idaho potatoes or russet potatoes, whatever I choose to get that thing. I slice them up like this, just like a little quarter. <laughs> And I fry them just like that. And trust me, they, they're just really banging. They're very, very, very good. When you just um, do them like that with the skin on, you throw some salt, super yummy. So I don't waste anything. Some people prefer uh, a regular fry without the, 
skin on it. But me, no. I like the the cacara, is what they call it in Spanish. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done here. Open this up. My oven is already set and ready for me to throw this in there as well. Okay. So I hope everybody out there is, you know, going to have a great summer and have some plans going on. Because I know last summer we really didn't do much. Well, we, he was working a lot and I was doing a lot of painting and other stuff. So we didn't get a chance to really go on vacation or anything like that. But definitely this summer we plan on having a vacation with the kids so I'm excited and sometimes I usually at least go to either Maryland or um, to Jersey Beach with my dad um, it we've been doing that since we were kids <laughs> my dad literally has a picture of me on the beach in Jersey uh, uh, I remember there's like a red Jeep when they used to when you used to be able to like drive your cars on the beach and I'm sitting there really cute on one of those funky little uh, colorful chairs. <laughs> and um, at the back of the picture says 1977. So yeah, my dad and um, my mom used to go out there all the time, at least three or four times in the summer, honest to God. So, and it's cheap, you know, Jersey's cheap, but you know, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do out there as well. So yeah. All right, y'all, so this is ready to go. The only thing I need to do is the bacon, okay? So I just wanna give you another pretty look at that. A pretty. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna get dirty, y'all. I'm putting my hands up in there. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and drizzle some of the milk. I, I put a little bit of milk, just a drizzle. Let me put you down here. There we go, see, you can see it, yay. All right, so I just do like a little bit of drizzle around, just a little bit. I would say like two, two big, two big teaspoons, two big spoons. Okay, got some this here. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do, okay, before I do the cheese, I actually wanna chop the bacon up first. So let me bring you back up. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this is Hatfield bacon. Super yummy, and I like getting it like this when it does for the meatloaf. This is the way I like to get my bacon. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, open this up, and remember y'all, we're putting bacon in, the, in my rice, in my cocoa rice. Oh yeah, very flavorful. Okay. So let me just make some room here. Wait, this is so yeah. You want to put like a like a bowl, like like a cup, a cup of bacon. Like I said, it depends on your family size. But if you have a good eye and you like to cook, you'll be okay. <laughs> okay. So here's my cooking scissors, my favorite scissors, and okay, you can see me. And I just what I do is I just chop them up right with the scissors. I don't use a knife. I just use my scissors because it's easy to cut and easy to just throw in there. And I just, I like pieces like this that are like really hard because it helps the meat, the ground beef stick together as well. And the soft pieces do too. So. Alright. So, I do stick Again, some fatty pieces and some good pieces. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's a good piece. Yep, and you just want to cut it into like little little pieces. Don't have to be like super small, but at least at least something like like this. Fatty and this is uh, the meaning. <laughs> so, we're almost done. And my oven is 
nice and hot. So of course, I'm gonna let this sit and cook for about an hour. So I'll get back to you on a second video when it's all done. But um, I definitely wanna start the rice, get the rice in so you guys can see me how I do that. Okay, a few more pieces, y'all. <laughs> Who doesn't like bacon? <laughs> yeah, my daughter, she's a big bacon eater. She loves bacon. And my son, he does too, but I think she likes it a little more than he does. <laughs> Me, I prefer turkey bacon, but since I'm doing this dish for my family, of course, you know, I'll, I'll let some things slide. <laughs> So they're not big on turkey bacon. They say it doesn't taste like anything, which I disagree. Turkey bacon is delicious as well. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good there. Let's get one more. Okay. I'm just digging in here to see which piece I want. <laughs> yeah, so. We are gonna definitely get this together. All right, that's good. Perfect. I can see my son walk by earlier. Where my yard is at. <laughs> okay, Mira. There you go. Look. Beautiful. All those pieces, y'all, are gonna go right into that meat. So let me bring you down. So you can see, yeah, I can actually see the coloring, the, the, I mean, the light. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that all in there. Okay, so we, you want to make sure you have all the ingredients in here that I just said. The only thing that we're missing is that Romano cheese. It's a Stella cheese, and it's right here. Super delicious. Romano Stella cheese. And this goes great with this meatloaf. So if you want to get a cheese, make sure it's this one. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have everything up in there. So I'm going to take you a little over and down. And um, I'm going to wash my hands because they're a little slippery from the bacon. So just give me a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and grind this cheese. Um, okay, so I need to wash my hands. <laughs> And I know my fiance can't wait to come home and dip in this dish. <laughs> yeah, so what do you guys think? I'm, I'm going to be doing um, bacalaito tacos. So um, if you have any thoughts on that, ideas or anything, I'm all open for that. Um, however, I do have my own recipe of how I do my things. But if there's anything you guys want to shoot to me, I'm, I'm all ears for it. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get to the cheese. All right, oh my God, and this cheese is it tastes so good. I don't want to bite into it right now, but I'll have a piece later while everything's cooking. <laughs> All right, so you just want to go ahead, get your little thing here. Um, I like to do this side here because it's longer pieces, so that's what I like to do. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Yeah, this is the, the last thing you want to throw into it. I usually wait for last. As long as you get all the ingredients in, it really doesn't matter. Okay. And you want to do at least, at least a half a cup of this. Okay. And it smells so good. Okay. Perfect. All right, y'all, and there it is. It smells so good. So that is the icing of the meatloaf. <laughs> All right. Again, I gotta wash my hands. And I am going to dry my hands. And I am going to use my 10 fingers but before I do that I'm gonna take my rings off <laughs> I used to have one of those holders when I 
when I cook to put my rings on, but I lost it when we moved into this house. <laughs> so I have to get another one. Okay, so I'm gonna take you right down here so you can see me massage and into this uh, lovely, absolutely lovely. Look at all them flavors, y'all, to die for. So I'm just gonna dig in. I like digging in. I love doing this. <laughs> Oh my God, it smells so good. Yeah, so like I said, you wanna make sure everything gets in there together. This is to die for, y'all. <laughs> I know I always say that, but all my dishes are really, really good. And that is exactly why I wanted to share my dishes with you guys on YouTube because I had to do a, 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 a channel because everybody was telling me, Belinda, do a channel because your cooking is fabulous, good, delicious, those who know me, which a lot of people know how I cook, especially my family. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I like, I like when I dig in and the egg yolk just pops. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that kind of chef. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of want to just massage it. Give it some love, y'all. <laughs> That's how your food comes out really good. I know some people prefer to use like like um, gloves and stuff like that. Not me. I like to feel my food. I like to make sure, you know, I'm doing everything the way it should be done. So, all right, y'all. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let me go ahead and wash my hands. Okay, so this is it, y'all. Now we're going to go over here to my beautiful hefty. And my oven is on. Yes, okay. So we are going to use my neighbor actually got this for me yeah so that thought that was nice and he loves my cooking too <laughs> yeah every time I cook I send him a plate and that's just me okay so let me get my rings back on all right so get over. all right so we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle some oil okay oil in the pan okay now ground beef does have its own oil it spits out but I still of course you don't want it to stick and um, I actually take a <laughs> napkin and I I actually just kind of like you know it's like you're just polishing the pan I guess <laughs> anyway all right so that is done, y'all. So I'm gonna throw this over here. Okay, so for the rice, okay? Of course, we're gonna need oil for that as well. Okay, let me get this up. So we're gonna go ahead and put oil in here too, because we're gonna get that ready too as well. Pour some drizzle. All right. Oh my God, I can smell all the flavors from over here. Okay. All right, that's good. That's just the rice. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this meatloaf. So I can throw that in the oven. All right, and I wanna make sure you can see me do this. All right, so we're gonna do the meatloaf first. Okay, I did put my rice on, didn't I? <laughs> okay, I was in my book. <laughs> So, you just want to take it just the way how meatloaf looks, real nice and pretty. And of course, I have big chunks. So, I usually lay like three big chunks and then I kind of blend it in together. I 
and I layer them on top. Or I should say six big chunks. Did I say three again? Yeah. Six big chunks that I put. And, you know, I put the first three on the bottom, the first three, like, on top, like, layer it. And I'll show you in a minute. Okay. look like you don't want to like mush it together you want to make sure that it still has air to breathe for all the ingredients but you do tap it a little bit together that's how I do it you don't want to you don't want to just you know what I mean just kind of want to like just give it a little pat and all the ingredients breathe out. and I do tuck in the bottom and make sure the bottom's nice and tucked in okay you don't want to like really stick it together okay so that's pretty much it I just give it a couple pats so it looks you know it's still popped up and you can still see all the all the ingredients that are in there so and we're gonna throw this in the oven y'all and we're gonna get right to that rice okay I was gonna like prep a lot of the stuff that I chopped up so that it would be a shorter video but I thought you know what I want to talk to you guys <laughs> okay I don't mind <laughs> all right so I'm just sticking this right in the bottom of my un on my oven because my oven has a mind of its own so this is why I do it that way <laughs> it's just my oven y'all okay so let's get to the rice turn it up on a medium high and the first thing we're going to do is add in those small white beans which are these right here see they're just regular small white beans of course goya okay add that in with the juice and all i use the juice and all there's only certain beans that i don't use the juice but on um, this one for this coconut yeah i use all the juices All right, so we have that there. All right, so also, this is the crema de co coco. This is very pure coconut, so you don't wanna use a lot. What you're gonna use is just a spoon. And I mean, I do a big teaspoon, okay? So that's what I do, just like that. Make sure, as soon as you throw that in, you want to make sure you're already stirring it with love with the beans. Already. Yep, and I missed a little corner here, so I'm going to get that up. Okay, so that's it for that. Now we got to add that super yummy bacon, right? Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Shut this and put that there. Okay, so we are going to... Grab some bacon here. All right, and again, all we add for this rice is a cup, like a cup full of bacon. And again, I do chop them up with the scissors, so that way, you know, the that way it blends in with the rice. <laughs> okay, so that's how I do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chop, chop. <laughs> That's why I love these cooking scissors, y'all, because they they just work wonders in my kitchen. When y'all think I'm using a knife, this is what I'm using. <laughs> yeah, so. And it's on a medium high, and that's how you want to keep it. It's on a medium high, y'all. Okay. And again, just chop. Some of the fatty pieces, you can kind of let it rock in there. But this rice is to die for, y'all. And this is all you're doing to this rice. You're not adding any sazon. You're not adding any other ingredients. You're not even adding salt. Because the bacon has so much flavor that you don't even need salt. So, y'all should try this. I'm telling you. This is one of my dishes I have written down. <laughs> because it's one of my favorites. Especially with the rice. done here y'all now yeah, okay. Okay. this is a little bit just go in there all right so 
sell. Okay, I think I grabbed more than a cup, so that's pretty much it. So one more piece. So you want to do like a cup for this rice. Okay. So that is it for the bacon. Okay, I'm just gonna sit all that out the way. Let me get my big spoon so I can start stirring y'all. And I wish I could show you this up close, but this is super hot. So, so yeah, I just had that big, big teeth, big spoon um, of. You want to use the spoon like this for that crema de coco, and just make sure you fill it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, be fair to the rice. <laughs> Bacon, the white beans, super yummy with this meatloaf. Okay, and that's pretty much it, y'all. Like I said, very simple. So we're gonna go ahead, I already cleaned my rice. I always clean up my rice before I put it in this bowl. Take a lot of starch out. And just throw that in there. And what do we do? If you watch my other videos, you know what we do next, right? We add the same ingredients of the water and that is it okay and just just like that you are done i like using this as a lid it just it just covers better <laughs> compared to the lid itself that goes to the pot <laughs> Okay, y'all, so that's pretty much it for the first video. I'm so happy to be here.